Hi everyone, my name is Atya. Welcome back to my channel. So recently I was going through my campus and I saw a lot of security and you know some arrangements made and I got curious like what was happening. I went there and go to see Bitset 2023 was going on. It was so amusing to see that parents being more stressed than the students. Yes. Some parents started coming to me and asking me questions regarding it. And it struck me that time that maybe this is the time for me to do a video on Bitset 2023. I see a lot of people searching for it and there are a lot of confusions regarding this. As somebody who is studying in Bits itself, I think I have a little bit of background to tell you what exactly it is and how to go about Bits admissions. In today's video, I would be covering the entire thing about Bitset 2023, the fees, eligibility, application procedure, everything I will cover. If, if you watch this, you won't feel the need to go anywhere else to click on any other video. That is my promise. So without further ado, let me begin with today's video. I need to give you a little bit of background about how BITS perceives degrees. So when we take admission or when we think of degrees, it's like BSc or B or ME, MPhil, MSc. In case of BITS, there is a slightly different system. There is a concept of first degree and higher degree. And BITSET is an exam which will give you admission to first degree. So what is the difference between the two? First degree means like B, BSc, even MSc, or MA, or all the kinds of conventional master's program, as well as bachelor in engineering. That comes under B. Higher degree means things like MA. For example, when I took admission here for PhD, I have done my master's in science in biotechnology specialization. So I had to do one year coursework because according to BITS, my degree is first degree. It's not higher degree. So those who have master in science or the conventional masters, they have to do one more year coursework <coughs> to come to BITS level. And then my qualifying exam happened and then I actually could start with objectives and proposal. So this particular exam, BITSET 2023, is an entrance exam. It's popularly known as engineering exam. It gives admission to all first degree programs in BITS, okay, across campuses. BITS main campuses are Goa, Hyderabad and Pilani. They have one in Dubai as well. For that, the procedure is slightly different, but they also have to answer BITSET. And they have in Mumbai. The one in Mumbai is a law college. So when we are considering BITSET, we are going to consider four campuses, Goa, Hyderabad, Pilani, and Dubai. So as I've already mentioned, BITSET is an entry exam for engineering programs at bachelor's level. It happens once in a year in two sessions. So session means attempt. First session means attempt one. Session 2 means attempt 2. At the time of filling application, you have to choose session 1 and session 2. So it's either attempt 1, attempt 2, or both the attempts. The reason why this is there is sometimes students are not able to give the exam properly and they get less score because the score you get to know there and there after your exam is done. We will go into the depth of that. So that is the reason it is held in two sessions. And there is a gap of few weeks between both the sessions. Okay. So as of now that I'm filming this, session one is done. There are two phases. One, answering bit set exam. Second, applying for admissions. And right now the phase that is going on is bit set ka exam. And the second phase will start when the first phase gets over or just in between that. It doesn't start first. So just that you clear bit set exam is not sufficient. You have to also apply for the admission. And the admission portal will apply this year on 2nd June. So mark your dates. So what are we going to speak about in this particular video? So we will start with important dates, eligibility, application procedure, how to answer it, the exam structure and syllabus and all that. 
applying for admission and then I would tell you what is the fee structure and how much you will have to pay for the course as well as for the application and everything. By the way, if you don't know, the full form is Billa Institute of Technology and Science Admission Test. It's a computer-based and online test and we will get into the details of what it means. So the online application form has started on 31st January 2023. So it's done now and deadline for application was 9th April. If it was application time, then I would have shown you exactly how to fill the form and everything. Then you have revision or editing. If there are any mistakes in the form, then that you can check by 16th to 20th April. Then test center allotment and announcement around 8th May. So I'll rush quickly. So Bitset online session one. So the attempt one is from 21st May to 26th May. And Bitset online session two is from 18th June to 22nd June. And apply for admission with 12th marks and preference of programs starts on 2nd June. I'm going to leave the official link for BITS admission in the description below. The first link would be that. So that is the only link from where BITSET application and entire thing is covered. So what I would suggest is mark a point in, uh, put a reminder daily and maybe morning first thing you can check whatever announcement is there. So you are updated. So how are you eligible for applying for BITSET? The eligibility criteria is divided into two. I have divided it, not BITS broad eligibility and specific eligibility let's go through broad eligibility first what they have done is they have bifurcated the admission for all programs and for b farms so mainly it is an engineering test so let's see for that you should have 10 plus 2 from a recognized central or state board which are those central or state boards that we will see with physics chemistry and maths and adequate proficiency in English. English because BITS is entire medium of instruction is English. For BFARM candidates, you should have 10 plus 2 system from central or state boards or its equivalent also will do with physics, chemistry and biology. They have also mentioned that your PCM candidates also can apply, but for BFARM preferably it is physics, chemistry and biology and you need to have proficiency in English. So as far as the specific criteria is concerned, you need to have 75% aggregate in PCM, Physics, Chemistry, Maths, or if you have done PCB, it should be 75% Physics, Chemistry, Biology. Plus, you need to have at least 60% marks in each of Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, or Biology, whichever you have taken. Okay? If you have taken Engineering, obviously Maths will count. If you are uh, admitting for B farm, then obviously your biology marks will count. So this you should have for you to be eligible for BITSET. Also, the number of attempts in terms of yours, not in terms of sessions, in terms of your is two. If you answer BITSET 2023, and if you are not able to clear both the sessions, then you have BITSET 2024. If you have answered BITSET 2023 as well as 2024, wherever is latest that will be considered that only if you are in class 12 or you have passed class 12 then only you are eligible if you are in classes before that you are not eligible for this particular exam so admission is purely based on merit which set score and the eligibility criteria you need to fulfill all that that will secure you admission in bits and that is one thing there are no reservations for sure so it's purely based on the entrance exam. In the beginning of the video, I had mentioned about computer-based online test. So what it means is the computer is there and whatever questions are there that will be flashed on the computer and you have to choose whichever option. So it's a multiple choice questions. It happens in two sessions. So while registering, you can register for session one, session two or both. So some students, they prefer, they are not sure of whether they will get good marks in session one. So they usually apply for both the sessions at once. So what is the timing? The first slot, slot one is 9 a.m. to 12. Second one is from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m. And you can choose any one while registration. 
So how much you have to pay for answering bid set? Okay, this is not the course fee for answering bid set. For male and female, the fees are different. So if you want to answer only first session, it is 3,400. For female, it is 2,900 and so on. Whether it is session one, session two or both the sessions. For those students who have answered session one, they didn't get good marks and now they are planning to enroll for session two, then the fees would be 2000 and 1000 respectively for male and female. I will come to the details of centers. If the exam center is Dubai, then for male and female, these are the fees. Moving on to the test format, what is the exam structure, duration, marks, syllabus, everything. Total 130 questions. Each question carries three marks. If you get a positive answer, you will get three marks full. If you have a negative answer, then there is negative marking of minus one. And if you don't attempt anything, then obviously it's a zero. There are four parts to the test. Part one, part two, part three, and part four. Part one has your physics, part two, chemistry. Part three, language efficiency and logic reasoning. Part 4 is Mathematics or Biology, depending on whether you have taken Engineering or BIFA. It's not that Part A will have a certain time, then only you can start Part B, nothing like that. All these parts combined have a 3 hour, three hour duration. If you go to the final part and you realize that something that you need to correct, you can obviously come back to the question and correct it. All the questions are in English. Say, suppose somebody answers all 130 questions then you will be given 12 questions more. This is additional for you to be able to score and raise your rank in the merit list. This is done only if all the 130 questions you have answered. And mind you, there is negative marking for this. Calculators and log tables are not allowed. Once your registration is done, you will be given a hall ticket. You will have to download the hall ticket. So on the announcement section, when to download a hall ticket and the procedure that will come, so the result of how much you scored, you will get then and there, not the merit list. What was your score after your exam is done? So you can check accordingly and enroll for session two if your marks are below that. Two separate merit lists are displayed, one for BFARM and one for all programs, including engineering, MSc, whatever. This is the screen recording of all the test centers that are available. So what I would suggest is keep a tab on admission website. I'm saying this again and again because depending on what is the intake, how many students have applied, the centers will increase or decrease. Otherwise, it will become like you have selected a particular center, the intake goes down and the center gets deleted. So you will go there only to find that there is no center. Secondly, this is the window for hall ticket downloading. If you choose Dubai as the center in the application procedure, then you will not be allowed any other preference. And Dubai will be the only center that would be selected. Okay, this is at the registration. For other students, you will have to select preference as to which center is first and which center is second. So if any center gets deleted because of less intake of students, then that center you will get as a priority. Every year, the cutoffs are displayed. In bit set, what is the highest score? What was the cutoff? So accordingly, merit list would be prepared. So I'm giving a screenshot of this. This is not 2023 cutoff because bit set is not yet over. But this I'm giving just so that you get an idea of how the cutoffs have been for previous year. So this completes the details about the bit set exam. But if you remember, while introducing, I had said bit set is phase one. The second phase is actually applying for admission. So now that you know that based on the merit list, your name is there, what you will do is the admission portal this year will open on 2nd June. So that time you can click register on the portal, whatever mark sheets and all the documents that are required, that will facilitate your entry to bits okay just clearing bit set exam does not guarantee you admission also i just want to say that when i was going through the brochure it did not have any date 
for admission. So the admission date got announced on website. If you are going by the brochure, then some of the dates could be missing. So it's always important to keep a tab on these things, what is happening latest on the website. Moving on to the fee structure, let's see how much you have to pay, whether there are scholarships or anything. So what I'm showing you right now is the fee structure for 2022 to 2023. Okay. And the latest fee structure as of that I'm filming this video is not open. Usually there is a slight increase in the fee amount. Uh, usually there is no decrease, either it remains same or preferably it increases. Admission fee means that you pay only at the starting. Semester fees you pay every six months. If I take the majority, majority students apply for B rather than other things. So you check how many semesters are there and multiply the semester fee by those. Much cash you have to keep ready. For now, you will pay admission fees, semester fees, and whatever is given in one block. That was about the fee structure. You can get back to me in case of any doubts. Bits is all money. So what you have to do is try to apply for scholarship. Of all the candidates, around 30% of candidates get scholarship. And scholarship is for semester fees. It's not on admission. On semester fees, you will get a waiver of 15% to 100%. And there are two kinds of scholarships, uh, merit scholarships and merit come need based. So if you have been the topper either in BITSET or in any other exams previously, then you are eligible for this kind of scholarship. So you will have to contact the admission office for that. Merit come need based means merit is also there. You have scored also high. If you have your economic background is compromised, then in such cases, you will get a higher percentage of scholarship. So this is, I'm displaying here, so you will get an idea of how these function. Because if you consider the semester phase, the amount is almost 2.5 lakhs. Considering that if you get even some waiver, it would be good. Also, one thing I would like to say is that if you are topper of any board, then you will get direct admission, whatever is your score in BITSET, okay? So the concept of merit list, it doesn't apply to you. Going through fee structures, some people have little inhibitions. Kind of facilities and the kind of environment it provides. That is also at a different level than what you get in regular colleges. I have taught in three different places as assistant professor. And I find the atmosphere here is completely different. So you will have to make a choice regarding this. I hope I have been able to clear all your doubts. And if you need to know anything else, then you can let me know. Let me check if I've spoken about everything. Pretty much covered everything. If you have any doubts, let me know. Till the next time.